and that is that Michigan is announcing our commitment to men's and women's lacrosse as Division I varsity sports. Uh, we see this as a big deal. This is a big deal for our athletic department, for our university, and, and we hope for the, the sport of lacrosse. opportunity to either start with the club program here uh, or to actually uh, go out and recruit an entire team or to do a little bit of both um, and I chose to do it my way which was obviously I wanted to go out and recruit an entire team uh, which happened to be all freshmen um, so that I could start the culture that I was looking for. It's my dream job um, from the day, the day that I got the job, Dave Brandon offered it to me, to this point right here, every single day I pinch myself and say, you're the head coach of the University of Michigan, Team One. You get to start this from scratch. You get to do it your way. Um, and at a school like Michigan, it doesn't get better than that. The reason I wanted to come to the University of Michigan, obviously, um, pretty simple. Uh, incredible academic institution. The athletic department is well-renowned. Uh, and the town of Ann Arbor, the people here, is what really, uh, I feel, makes a huge difference. Uh, so, the first time I learned that I was going to be the head strength coach for women's lacrosse, um, I was actually in a different position within the University of Michigan uh, strength and conditioning department, working with women's basketball and men's lacrosse. Somehow it came along that I, they happened along into that position, um, met with the head coach, and that's when she kind of told me, the logistics of the situation, like 28 freshmen, no one had ever played uh, college sports before, and kind of where everyone was coming from, um, the different personalities, strengths, weaknesses of the program, of the team. One of the most difficult things freshman year was losing. Um, we we're all very competitive people, and we came from really successful high school programs, so it was definitely hard to adjust from being you know, state champions in high school to having a losing record or only winning a couple games in a season. And also, like, after every loss, maintaining that positive attitude that we know that we're going to be successful eventually, but it's going to be a longer process. I'd say from um, their freshman year, this senior class has grown the most. Um, obviously, there's many, many ways in which they've grown, but uh, in their composure and confidence. Um, that very first year was really figuring out what it meant to be a Division I athlete um, with no, no one to show them the way other than a coaching staff or seniors and juniors. I think they're kidding our own pace at practice, having to figure out how to compete at that level. And obviously it always starts in practice and transitioning from high school to Division I level without anyone telling us or showing us really how hard you have to play with certain Um, which is obviously all freshmen, uh, are now part of Team 4 as seniors. And as you can only imagine, we have together uh, a tremendous amount of memories. But funny things like, you know, how much you guys didn't shower, uh, how you wore your pennies all the time, even though practice was over. Um, and uh, the bus rides, the laughs, uh, you know, it's, it's been fun to watch this group grow together um, both as as, uh, as friends but also as teammates. Anything that they do beyond this, I know it won't be lacrosse um, and, I, and I don't care about that. I hope that anything they do, they can look back at something that we did as a team, as a group, and use that as a source of strength and pride um, and know that they have grown so much in this program. 